Hey, you gorgeous human specimens. Bobby Spellman here with the second installment of my new educational series. Trumpet with Bob. I've been teaching trumpet lessons for over 16 years, and over that time I've noticed that there are a couple of mistakes that just about everybody makes when starting off that can hold you back from achieving your goals of trumpet excellence. The number one most common and most nefarious misconception in the world of trumpet is the idea that in order to play high notes, you've got to tighten your lips or squeeze your lips together. Now, while it might sound surprising, the fact of the matter is, is by focusing on tightening your lips, what you're going to end up doing is squashing your tone, reducing the size of your aperture, creating a lot of back pressure, and for no benefit at all. So my tip today is don't tighten your lips to play high notes. Now, in order to overcome this challenge and achieve new heights in the world of trumpet, we're going to have to understand the fundamental mechanics of the instrument. Check it out. Sound and music is all about vibrations in the air. Just like the higher strings on a guitar or piano are going to vibrate at a faster rate than the lower strings, on trumpet, our goal is to make our lips vibrate faster in order to get the higher notes. Now, the misconception is that you get that faster vibration by tightening your lips or jamming your lips together. And while that can work for a couple of notes, very quickly you'll find that you'll completely squash your tone and you actually very substantially limit your possible range. The real hero in all of this high note playing, lip vibrating experience is your air, which is going to enable you to push your lips to move faster and to get those higher notes. Before we get into that, let me show you an example of what happens if you tighten your lips in order to try to get those high notes. All right, in this example, I'm going to increasingly tighten my lips to see how many partials I can get up and so we can get a sense for what my tone sounds like as I go up the registers. So you can see that I can move the notes up a little bit, but with each increasing partial, my tone becomes increasingly squashed and abrasive. Rather than focusing on tightening your lips, the real way of making your lips move faster is to make your air move faster. There are two primary ways to do this. Number one is your air support. Now this has to do with two parts. One, your lungs. We're all familiar with your lungs. They carry the air. The other one is your diaphragm, which is the, stomach, the muscle in your stomach that causes you to hiccup when it spasms. Now, besides just being a hiccup torture device, the diaphragm can be an extremely useful tool in pushing the air out of our lungs. So very often people will talk about breathing from your diaphragm and using that muscle to really push the air out of your lungs. Now, air support is all about that uh, control of the pressure of your air and being able to really control the speed at which that air is coming out of your head. So by practicing breathing down into your gut and using your diaphragm to push the air out of your lungs, you'll be able to increase your air speed right away and that will help raise the notes to higher pitches. Now there's a lot more to deal with in terms of the diaphragm thing, but we're gonna stick with that for right now. Just know that your air support, the air pressure, and the ability of you pushing your air out of your lungs to create a higher speed is gonna be the first real secret to getting those higher notes. All right, so let's practice this. The first way you can really see the power of your air to get these higher notes is to take a deep breath and start off playing a quiet low C. Then, without tightening your lips or moving your mouth in any way, all I want you to do is push the air from your diaphragm, push the air out of your lungs, increase the air speed, and notice what happens to the pitch of the instrument. I'll give you an example. All right, I'm gonna have you try it for yourself. I want you to pause this video, try it out, put the horn on your face, play a low C quietly, and then increase your air velocity just by pushing from your diaphragm and notice what happens to the pitch of the instrument. All right, now that you can see the power of your air support and the velocity of your air in making your lips vibrate faster and bringing the pitch of the instrument up, you'll notice that in doing that exercise, you're getting a blatty and hard to control sound and you're playing too loud. The second most important element in really controlling the shape and speed of your air is your tongue. All right, check it out. When playing trumpet, there are two main parts of our tongue that we have to be able to use simultaneously. You're probably already aware that the tip of your tongue is to be used to separate the airstream and to articulate the notes, known as tonguing. That's not gonna help us out too much here. 
when we're talking about shaping the airstream and increasing the velocity of the air to increase the speed of the vibration in your lips, we're going to be talking about the back of your tongue, way back here. All right, let's check it out. You can practice manipulating the back of your tongue with the syllables ah and e. Ah brings the back of your tongue down and opens up the space in your mouth through which the air moves. E will bring your tongue up in the back of your mouth and increase the speed of the air by decreasing the space through which the air can move. Here, try it out. Ah, ee, ah, ee. Here you go, pause the video, try it out for yourself. The relationship of the speed of your air to the position in the back of your tongue has to do with the principle of fluid dynamics in physics. The idea is, given a constant pressure of a certain fluid, be it a gas or a liquid, decreasing the space through which that fluid can move will naturally increase the velocity of that fluid, in this case, your air. Disclaimer, I am not a physicist, I am a professional trumpet player, and there are many complex facets to this principle that I am not even remotely qualified to speak to. Consult a real physicist for further details. All right, imagine this. When you're playing trumpet, the back of your tongue functions just like putting your thumb over the business end of a garden hose. As you decrease the space through which the fluid can move, you're going to increase the velocity of the fluid, spraying the water out of the hose or increasing the speed of the air in your head. That'll increase the vibration of your lips and give you some higher notes. See that? Yeah, there it is. How about that? Bonus content while making this video, I'm also smoking a brisket in my hasty bake. Let's see what this bad boy is looking like. Oh, that's gonna be so good. I'm so excited. All right, now let's bring these principles back to the trumpet once again. Try pushing the air from your lungs with your diaphragm. But this time, try to control the speed of your air with the syllables ah, e. As you go from ah to e, notice the way that your lips increase in speed and the notes will naturally pop up the partials. Here, let me demonstrate. This way, by manipulating the shape of your air in your face, you're able to increase the pitch of the instrument without having to overblow or create a super loud blatty sound. This gives you a lot of control over the pitch of the instrument, and it means that you'll be able to move up much higher into the upper register without having to tighten your lips or jam your lips together. All right, one more time. Pause this video, give it a try for yourself. Really push that air from your diaphragm and use the ah, e syllables to try to move that pitch up from the low C to the G and even up to the high C. If it works, leave us a comment. Let us know that it worked for you. All right, what you'll find as you continue to think about this and practice this way is that you're able to manipulate your airstream to move these notes up the registers of the instrument without having to tighten your lips or jam your lips together. Ultimately, tightening your lips is only gonna decrease your aperture, talked about it in an earlier video, and decrease the quality of your tone while making it much harder for you to play up into the upper register. By really blowing air freely through your lips and relying on the inside of your mouth to shape the airstream, you're going to be able to move your lips much faster and get those high notes without having to decrease your tone. Keep practicing, give it a try, we hope it really helps. All right, folks, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you found it useful or informative or just entertaining, be sure to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you got any questions or if this video helped you out, or be sure to send it along to any of your trumpet playing friends. We're currently offering lessons online, and you can visit our website at www.ridgewoodschoolofmusic.com. We're also offering lessons in person in the Brooklyn, Queens, and greater New York City area. Be sure to send us a message, and we'll get back to you just as soon as we can. You can also follow me, Bobby Spellman, on Instagram at, at Bob Spellman, on Facebook at Bobby Spellman Music, or on Twitter at Bobby Spellman for some more trumpet fun. Lastly, if you found this video useful and you'd like to give a little donation to the cause, you can find us on Venmo at Ridgewood Music. All tips will go to the creation of more videos like this one, and we really appreciate it.
Thanks a lot, gang. We'll see you on the next one, and happy practicing. Oh, you're gonna be a good trumpet player after this. <laughs>